manage their money themselves and there's somebody else that plays that role. So there are very complex situations involving people that have very significant issues in their life that we're trying to work with to simultaneously get them to the mental health issue, uh, services they need, the substance abuse services, and permanent housing. So this is not an issue that's new to us. It's not something that is a surprise to us, and it's something that we've tried to work with um, uh, over the years, but they're very complex and diff difficult issues. And I, I, I want to say one last thing. Um, Senator Alfon didn't want me to do this, but... Um, uh, uh -oh. uh, uh, I'm going to leave now. I'm, 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 <laughs> I, I exit the stage. But, but uh, you know, yesterday we decided that we ought to have a news conference to have this discussion. And I want to point out, there's an extraordinary turnout here of elected officials, um, and, and I want to recognize them. And, and it doesn't mean that the other people who aren't elected officials here aren't important. But I think you need to see that Holly Selinger is here from the Board of Education. John Eater is here from the Board of Education. Ed Suslick is here from the City Council. Diane Russell is here from the State Legislature. Justin Alphon is here from the State Senate. Peter Stuckey is here from the State Legislature. Eric Jorgensen is here from the State Legislature. Ann Haskell is here from the State Senate. Drew Katine is here from Westbrook uh, from the State Legislature. Lori Davis is here from the Board of Education. Mark Dion is here Pius from the Ali. State Legislature. Pius Ali. And Pius Ali is here from the Board of Education. This is an extraordinary turnout of elected officials in the city of Portland that are saying, we are standing together. We want to have a common voice and a dialogue with the administration, with the commissioner about this issue. And I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. So thank you all for coming. The, many of us will be around for further questions. We appreciate your, your interest. And uh, thank you all to also all the community leaders, all of the folks that work day in and day out on homeless, homeless issues, and especially uh, to Gary and Glenn for sharing their story. Thank you.